Cruciform shapes have now been added to SCS2 2021, which can be used as beams, columns, and bracing. In your shape properties, we have added four new cruciform configurations. Wide flange to WT, where you can add in a welded wide flange to a WT. And the same goes for a wide flange to plate. I can add in a welded wide flange to a plate material. Then we have plate to wide flange and all plates. Flats will be used for plates if they're in your standard fabricator connections, preferred connection material sizes, preferred flat bar sizes. You can control the welds in the cruciform sections. We do have an option for none if you want to manually provide the weld yourself. Otherwise, we have double fillet, single bevel groove, single bevel groove fillet, and double bevel groove. We've also created more control for weld and prep operations in your base and cap plate schedule. Cruciform shapes have now been added to the auto standard connections as an option to frame two. We have beam to column, column to column, and joist to column. You can set the default steel grades in your cruciform sections for wide flange, WT, and plates. Cruciforms have now been added as a material type when you go to add a column, anything that you have added in your shape properties will then show up in this list. The beam to column connection types that we currently offer are shear plates, end plates, clip angles, and moment connections. For the moment connections, we do not design the web stresses for now, so you will need to turn off design for doublers and stiffeners to get the beam to column moment connection. By default, face D has been added for the cruciform column, but I can turn that off if that's something that I'm not wanting on my detail. You can see that the detail will also be reflected with templates. 